Step one, and U of M's William Doherty with the Department of Family and Social Services says this one should happen even before the conversation. To not go into a conversation as uh, important and volatile as uh, police community relations, police black community relations, with the sense that y you're going to make somebody change their mind on it. It's worth repeating, don't go into it planning to change someone's mind. Okay, now that that's out of the way, now you're chatting, what's next? Doherty says two things to keep in mind. Find something you can affirm, you know, common ground. Then use the word and to introduce your I statement. Here's an example. If you're of the opinion that there are big, long-standing systemic problems with policing and race in America, and the other person says, leads with, I think most police are good people and there's some bad apples in there, okay? Um, you can say, yeah, I think lots of really good police and, and this guy Chauvin didn't represent everybody. And I think there are bigger issues than a bad apple. Notice he didn't use but, that's a no-no. We have too many buts going on in the conversations, right? So if, if I say I agree with you but, then you don't think I agreed with you at all in the first part. What about if there's a point you should just cut it off? Doherty says when the other person is attacking your integrity. Say something like, I'm sorry you went there and I'm not going to escalate this. But let's hope it doesn't get to that point so you can wrap it up by saying something like this. It's a big problem. We all ultimately want the same thing even if we have different means of getting there. And Doherty says if you left an argument that went south badly, he says this is next level stuff, but check yourself. Did you communicate in a way the other person could feel heard? And did you handle your part of the conversation the best you can? Because he says at the end of the day, the only person you can change is yourself. And Chris, you know, I've had um, really hard conversations with my own family members about this. But um, yeah, a lot of those uh, tips were great because it just de-escalates. I mean, we talk about um, de-escalation when it comes to policing and, you know, this this issue at hand. And so um, we can also use that in our conversations as well. I think I think those tips can be used in a lot mm -hmm. of situations these days. I mean, everyone's so opinionated in everything, and uh, I think it was just good tips to take in and use in a lot of conversations. Yeah. Glad you shared those. Right now